Well, hello. You know, people sometimes ask me how long does it take to make a certain project? And often the answer is, I don't know. Because when I'm making a project for YouTube, I'm actually making two projects at the same time. One is the wooden knickknack that you see in the video. And the other is the video itself. Now, one thing I like to mention, there are some great guys out there who produce very high quality content. And the time and effort they spend in making their videos is enormous. For example, take a look at the videos of Frank Howard, and you know what I mean. But even in my tiny workshop, the process of making a YouTube video is very time consuming. So if you like to take a sneak peek behind the scenes, then follow me along while I make a new YouTube video. On most of my videos, it all starts with a script. A short list with all the individual steps. The most important thing is a decent camera and good lighting. I use a Kodak ZR8 and two 5500 Kelvin light bulbs. Before I actually start working, I need to adjust the lighting and position the camera. I try to position the lighting so that there are no distracting shadows. Everything should look like natural. After finishing the recording, I check if everything looks like it should. When I'm satisfied with the result, I reposition the camera and prepare for the next scene. Here you can see me checking my script. I'm trying to memorize what I want to say. Again, I try to avoid distracting shadows. And even though the room is much brighter than usual, the actual recording looks natural. And again I check the recording. When I'm satisfied with the result, I reposition the camera for the next scene. And again repositioning the camera. Often I need to move the light and the camera to the next room. And finally I can get to work. So you see, there's a lot more going on besides woodworking. I'm constantly moving the light and the camera back and forth. And when the project is finished, I take some pictures for the thumbnail. Okay, the next step is editing and this will take some time too. As you can see, I've got over an hour of footage that I need to cut down to, well, let's say under 10 minutes. Well, let's get started. When editing, I try to get rid of all the unnecessary footage. For example, I think it's really boring to watch how I slowly cut this chunk of wood in half. Instead, I only show short sequences of the actual cutting. So I'm now down to 7 minutes and 44 seconds and I think that's not too bad. And I believe the only thing left to do is to add some music, because without music, it's kind of boring. Mm. I 
nothing gets better. try to improve the video with some details like for example zooming or smooth transitions. So now it's time to cut the nails. Um, now, while this video is uploading, it's time to make a thumbnail. Now, to make the thumbnail, I'm using Photoshop Elements. So you see, there's a lot of work beside the woodworking. But it's also a lot of fun, otherwise I wouldn't do it. So thank you for joining me.